Welcome back to the forge, guys. Uh, today, we got a special project for y'all. We're gonna be forging steak turner out of rebar. So, it's gonna be good. We're gonna start with about a foot and a half to two foot section of eighth inch, or a three eighth inch rebar. And we'll go from there, we'll pop it in the fire and get this thing All started. Right, we got our piece in there. It's up to a nice orange temperature. We're gonna go a little bit higher. Uh, a little bit hotter, and then we'll start forging on it. All right, hopefully this is secure enough. Get our piece, or we're just gonna draw out a taper. Down about three inches up from the end. Working it down into a square right now. Back in the fire we go. All right, we got a nice taper drawn out. I go ahead and clean it up. It's still real square. Bring this to a nice long point. And we'll go ahead and round it. Let's get this whole thing heated back up and we'll round it. All right, take this over the end of the horn. Gotta go ahead and round this up here. Bring it over here. I'm gonna try to push this tail end off to the side, just like that. Get this cleaned up a little bit. we gonna start that bending process. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna heat up this section. We're gonna twist it around. I don't know if that was in frame or not, but heat up that end. All right. Bending this around. Come on. Does not want to cooperate today. All right. There it goes. I don't want that to crack, so I'm gonna heat it up one more time and get it bent around. And then we'll uh, dress everything else. All right, we got this uh, side quenched. So this is our handle side, and uh, it's just nice and cool so we can hold on to it. We're gonna now taper out this end, just like we did on the handle, and uh, go from there. Alright, draw out the paper on the side, and we're going to try to keep the square parallel to this handle. Back in the fire. All right, brown 
rounding up and drawing out this end here. We want this to be a real fine point. That way we can hook our stake with it. There we go. Glad it's a little easier to draw out that point while you're rounding it up because otherwise you're at the risk of snapping it or uh, burning it off I mean all right now we're going to heat up this section we're going to bend it straight down all right it doesn't need to be super hot for this we're just bending it over Clean it up a little bit, make it a little straighter, square up that bend a little bit. And you don't have to do any of this, you could just bend it and leave it. I just like to make it a little more of a 90 degree angle. Alright, now we're going to heat up this point section and we're going to bend it. And when we bend it, we got to make sure that we bend it up this way. So if you're using it right handed, you can hook stuff like that. Get it bent over and make sure we bend it to the left. Square this up a little bit, straighten it up. All right, and that's it. That's basically done. Now what I'm gonna do is just heat up this section right here, including the hook, and then we're gonna dunk it in some oil. All right, now that we got this section heated up, just quench it in the oil. And this is not uh, to actually harden anything. This is rebar, so it's doesn't really harden. Uh, this is mostly just to get a nice dark black coating onto the steel. Make it look nice. A little more on there. There we go. We'll just let that run down the handle. I'm going to heat the handle section up and do the same thing. Now will be good to go. On today's episode of the Chalk. <laughs> Alright. We got a steak on there. Got my buddy Matt to taste test. We got a few that we already cooked up. And the steak turner is working out fantastically. You can never do anything right when it's on camera. There we go. Kind of weird. <laughs> what was that, dude? Well, not what I intended it to be. It's good, though. That's some fantastic steak. And the steak turner worked incredibly well. Alright, guys. I uh, forgot to film an ending for this, which is totally my fault. It was my bad. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed watching it. Steak Turner worked out fantastic. Um, if you're interested in buying one, uh, you can go to uh, The Primal Forge on Instagram or Primal Wander and uh, contact me directly through there. And they're 25 apiece plus shipping. So just let me know. Um, thank y'all for watching this and uh, sticking through to the sticking through till the end. And I will see y'all on the trail. Bye now.